All right. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy uh, Wednesday, uh, the middle um, towards the end of July already. So time sure flies. Uh, my name is Marnie Hernandez, and today we are doing Costa Rica. Um, we do these certificate workshops uh, for one thing to learn about the amazing different destinations. Uh, yes, Morgan, you do need to sign up. Again, guys, if you do these courses, you want to complete them with us so you can get the um, the uh, certificate. Because at the end, again, why we do these is you're going to learn about these destinations, these programs, et cetera. Uh, once you uh, learn about them and, and help to sell to your clients, a lot of times you get invited on lunch and learns, you get invited to webinars, familiarization trips. Um, we got invited, we're going to a dinner Friday night here in Las Vegas for Jamaica. Okay, a bunch of us agents got invited to that. So you never know what you're going to get an invite to if you don't get, you know, complete the trainings, right? So that's why we do these, okay? Um, so Jasmine, I'm not sure why you're not getting um, getting in here. I um, uh, couldn't find it either. Okay, so again, right here's the link. Um, you just go in and, and again, right here, um, this is, uh, which one are we on? Do, 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 Travel Agent Academy, right? Travel Agent Academy. So Travel Agent Academy is right here. So here is the link. Go in here. Once you register, then you can, um, yeah, you just go into um, course catalog and you go down here. You can do all featured. I did all and it's right here, Costa Rica, right there. It's in alphabetical order, okay? You can do destination, you can do all. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, so that way, um, anybody that is just registering, don't worry. What we do is we watch, you know, videos. I read. Um, once we get to the test is when you will, um, we'll make sure that everybody's registered. Okay, so if you're just getting registered, don't worry. We're here. You know, um, we will wait for you for the test. Okay. Um, also, one thing I want to say is when you put in the chat, make sure you put it to everyone because I'll be reading or something and I want to make sure everybody gets their questions answered. OK, so again, if you're just <clears throat> registering, always, always Archer Travel is the company, um, the agency. Evolution is the marketing site. So anytime you do with travel, it's Archer Travel. Uh, travel Leaders Network is our um what is it again? Throw it out there, guys. I forgot the word. Um, Consortium. Consortium. Thank you. Um, and then, of course, our IATAN number to recognize us as the agency. Okay. All right. So, again, um, this is uh, enroll now, graduate benefits. Again, everybody loves the perks and benefits of being a travel agent. Uh, so here, Costa Rica Specialist Program for U.S. Travel Advisors. For latest update on health protocols and COVID, click here. As you know, it changes on a daily basis and stuff. So whenever you're sending anybody out of the country, make sure you follow up and get the most up-to-date health information. <clears throat> All right. So from its golden shores, playful waves, and fish-filled waters to its mad, mystical uh, rainforest, simmering hot springs, and majestic volcanoes, Costa Rica brims with pure life. In two recently streamlined chapters, you can easily learn how to tap into these extensive offerings for clients seeking adventure, natural beauty, fascinating culture, wellness, and romance. New features include downloadable information sheets, okay, on top outdoor attractions, culinary specialties, and sustainability, as well as an index of links in each chapter to guide you in adding the perfect touches to your clients' dream vacations. What you're going to learn today, how to experience pure life, la pura vida, through Costa Rica's happy people, clean food, and natural surroundings. The elements of a wellness vacation, such as forest baths and earth earthing. Details about Costa Rica's immense biodiversity. Um, it's Travel Leaders Network, Victoria. <clears throat> 
Um, it's amazing creatures, sloths, jaguars, ocelots, tepers, scarlet macaws, and toucans. Options for family, romance, and accessible travel. Uh, the best places to surf, dive, hike, fish, view wildlife, zipline, and kayak. Top outdoor attractions by region, information on sustainability, and recommendations on regional food specialties, all available in downloadable PDFs. Again, um, <clears throat> when people are doing these, they do save um, folders, binders, et cetera, so you can refer back, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, benefits, okay, graduate benefits. You're gonna get a certificate at the end. You're gonna post that to, to um, social media, letting people know that you are a Costa Rica specialist. You get continuing ed units for members of the Travel Institute. So if you're part of that, you get you know additional units to add to that. For details on the program, eligibility for continuing ed credits, how to receive these credits, et cetera. Um, just like on cruising, um, we're going to be starting a cruising.org uh, for CLIA, okay? Um, because the cruise, we get a lot of points for that, but the, until you have an accreditation with them, you can't add it. So we're going to start that next month for the cruise lines. Um, course is iOS compatible and for questions and functional, functionality, specialist certificates, okay? All right. <clears throat> so again, let's go ahead and get um, enter now. Uh, so we're going to start with chapter one, okay? Um, some of these can take 20 minutes. Some of them can take 10 hours. You know, you never know. This one looks like a short one, but um, they may have additional ones later. And just so you guys know, I was doing a training like this, but I went into profit agility. It was two years ago. And I was able to get a condo through our profit agility program, a three bedroom condo in Costa Rica for the entire week for $138. So definitely guys, our perks are amazing. Um, I ended up having Gail and Bill and Charles Lee come out because they're like, you're in a three bedroom condo with just the two of you, we're coming. They flew out the next day. So um, Costa Rica is absolutely beautiful. And now you get to learn more about it. All right, so the first program is Costa Rica Specialist Introduction to Costa Rica. Uh, become acquainted with La Pura Vida and learn which of these clients would be perfect match for a vacation in Costa Rica. Discover the abundant natural wonders awaiting them in each region of the country and how these varying terrains uh, from rainforest to volcanoes to coastline. Form a tapestry of happy, healthy outdoor living. The chapter also includes useful information for planning travel to and around the destination. All right, so let's go ahead, open up the program. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and let me restart. I think I've done this one already, so let me see. Okay, get started. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so we're going to read all the sections before taking, uh, oh, thanks, Teresa, uh, before taking the exam, extra information can be found under chapter resources in the top right corner of each screen. So we have the introduction. Hmm. Modern life moves faster than ever. We've lost touch with some of the most essential aspects of what it really means to be alive. It's time to recharge and reclaim all that is pure and vital for real happiness. Take our priorities straight and rise above the noise. Costa Rica lives that promise. <laughs> to give us what we all need to feel truly fulfilled, to find balance, to be at peace, and discover the thrill of just being present in the moment. So we invite you to make this promise, to connect with nature, each other, Beautiful. even yourself, to visit Costa Rica. Life's essentials found here. Your screen hasn't okay all right so, you're good you're yeah I I'm meant good. to change that <laughs> okay thank you yeah, you're good okay yeah. all right so next so Costa Rica brimming with life famous for the extraordinary abundance um and variety of wildlife that fits its lush rainforest and pops up even in its city streets the tropical paradise of Costa Rica also boasts another asset. 
its healthy lifestyle, not only do Costa Ricans or Ticos and Ticas, as they call themselves, typically tend to live in harmony with nature, but many are also happy to share their beautiful country and way of life with visitors. So you most certainly have clients, let me see if I can expand this, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, <clears throat> you most certainly have clients who would find great pleasure in a trip to this tiny country at the crossroads of the American continents. Possibilities include beachgoers seeking to soak up the sun's energy along with the edges of vibrant blue waters, water sports enthusiasts intent on harnessing the power of wind, waves, and currents, hikers tempted by the allure of volcanoes, foodies eager to explore traditional modern cuisines, as well as fertile fields yielding coffee beans, bananas, cocoa trees, and many other specialty cultivated plant varieties. Romance travelers searching the beautiful scenery as a backup to a wedding or couple's getaway. Nature lovers ready to delve deep into misty forests filled with caves, waterfalls, birdsong, and flashes of bright plumage, as well as uh, snoothing sloths. That's what I love. Magic like lizards, spider monkeys, and all sorts of creatures. Or maybe you have culturally curious clients hoping to meet everyone from indigenous groups to a Tico who will show you how to paint an ox cart, ox cart or cook a typical casado. If wellness is on your clients' minds, Costa Rica offers a wide range of activities, including yoga classes, retreats, nature experiences like forest baths, breathing in the fresh air of the forest, earthing, barefoot walks on the earth, and innovative spa treatments, usually locally sourced volcanic mud, coffee, tropical fruits, and chocolate. And really quick, if you're brand new with us, guys, a lot of times people will follow along like on a split screen and do the test online, okay? Or they take their phone and follow along on their phone and do the test online. So just wanted to share that with you. Because again, you don't want to go through this course and not be able to take the test and not get your certificate, right? So that's what we want to make sure everybody has access to that. Oops, what did I miss reading? Sorry. All right. Um, okay, so... Uh, famous for the extraordinary abundance and variety of wildlife that fills. Um, <clears throat> somebody could send the link. Um, let me see if I have it here. There you go. So right there's the link. Sign in, register, and then go to all destinations and you'll find Costa Rica. Famous for the extraordinary abundance, variety of wildlife, lush rainforest pops up. In, okay, we already read that. Why is it? Am I missing something? Oh, here, sorry, there we go. All right, UNESCO World, it's tricky. It makes you make sure you click on everything. UNESCO World Heritage Site. So Costa Rica may be small in size, covering only 0.03 of the world's surface, but it is mighty in attracting visitors. It has four UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Okay, this could be a test question. Pre-Columbian chiefdom settlements with stone spears of the Decoast, sorry. Area de Conservación, Guanacaste, Cocos Island National Park, and Talamanca Range La um, Amistad Reserves. Again, I apologize for mispronunciation on some of these. And then for links on information about these sites, you can go to chapter resources in your upper right hand corner, which is right up here. Um, and it'll pull up different slides and information for you, again, to save for future reference. All right, so La Pura Vida, no matter their choice <clears throat> choices, travelers will find themselves immersed in La Pura Vida, a Spanish phrase that literally means the pure life, but in Costa Rica, uh, it has come to denote a stress-free lifestyle centered on friends, family, and the gifts of nature. Read on to learn more about how to give your clients the time of their lives in Costa Rica. Uh, click on the boxes on the upper left to navigate through the slideshow. All right, so here's sustainable, sustainable tourism. Home to 5% of world's biodiversity and with 26% of its territory protected for conservation. Costa Rica is a global leader in sustainability. Its accomplishments help to enhance not only the environment, but also its society and economy, some of which include, as early as 1997, the development of the Certificate for Sustainable Tourism, CST program, for local tourism companies. 
ambitious policies to fight climate change, its goal to be carbon free by 2050, which helped earn its Champions of the Earth Award from the United Nations in 2019. It's got a wide ranging state of ecotourism features, including mountain trekking, bird watching tours, coffee tours, as well as 30 national parks, 19 wildlife refuge, and eight biological reserves, plus rural tourism offerings focus on farming traditions, cuisine, and small artisanal industries. Learn more about sustainable tourism, including certification and rural tourism by consulting the chapter resources again up here for the chapter in the upper right hand corner. <clears throat> A Bandera Azul Ecologica, Ecological Blue Flag Program. A blue flag designation is awarded annually to different communities that seek to improve hygienic and environmental conditions in their localities. The Ecological Blue Flag Program is an initiative to mitigate and fight climate change. Costa Rica has a record-breaking number of 118 beaches with this designation. Select group of five beaches have earned an Ecological Blue Flag with five stars, Playa Matapalo and Punta El Madero in northern Guanacaste, Playa Carrillo in southern Guanacaste, and Playa Blanca and Playitas in the Central Pacific. And health and safety. Costa Rica's healthcare system is one of the best in the world. Medical facilities available throughout the country, even in, in its remotest regions. Costa Rica is one of the world's five original blue zones located on the Nicoya Peninsula, where locals live longer than the global average. The Pura Vida lifestyle of this region entails clean eating, time spent with family, leisurely pace, helps explain why this area is home to healthy, happy residents. For the latest um, updates on health protocols in face of COVID-19, go to the chapter resources in the upper right-hand corner. All right. So next, uh, Dominican Republic, we're doing that on Friday. Again, um, I've sent the resources where you can go in and if you wanna do it today, um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but otherwise we're doing that on Friday. All right, pop quiz, is everybody registered, ready to go for our pop quiz? All right. Mine is like, making me do all this stuff to catch up. It's so weird. Like when you said that, that you had to do some stuff to, that you had to go back and it made you cat, you know, do some stuff to catch up. Yeah. You just have to click on everything. It was like every it's, it's crazy, but it's okay. I'll, I'll take pictures. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, you should be only, you know, have, I mean, again, you should be able to just go back and click on, on the different screens and then it should take you here. Um, again, uh, host agency is always Archer Travel. Travel Leaders Network is our consortia. All right. <clears throat> Match each important feature of Costa Rica on the left with the phrase that best describes it. So, um, la pura vida. Okay, that's a pure life, right? Healthy lifestyle and nature. I think that's that, right? Award for beaches. Okay, an area whose inhabitants tend to live longer than the global average. Um, so what do you guys think? Initiative focused on enhancing environment. That's sustainable okay. tourism, the initiative one. There we go. <clears throat> So I think this is a healthy lifestyle, the blue flag award, and then blue zone. Would you guys agree? Yes. Okay. All right. Take a picture, guys. If you're if you're you know not caught up, go ahead and take a picture. Okay. Gonna submit it. That is correct. All right. So you completed the introduction, now return to the main menu. So now we're gonna go to basics, okay? So again, you just follow the course. <clears throat> All right, so basics, we're gonna learn about geography, economic, um, ecological offerings. Thank you, Saravi. All right, so ge geography, 
Okay, so where is it located? It's about the size of the state of West Virginia, 19,700 square miles. Costa Rica inhabits the isthmus connecting North and South America, with Nicaragua in the north and Panama to the south. Cr uh, cradled between the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, the country boasts 800 miles of coastline. All right, <clears throat> beautiful, right? All right, what do they have to offer for ecological? Uh, just over 5% of the world's biodiversity is found in Costa Rica, which is home to over 500,000 species. This includes numerous varieties of monkeys and bats, as well as sloths, anteaters, uh, cody, tuppers, ocelots, jaguars, together with a multitude of birds, such as scarlet macaws, hummingbirds, and quetzals. Costa Rica is divided among 11 conservation areas, comprising 30 national parks, 58 wildlife refuge, 32 protected zones, 15 wetland areas, 11 forest reserves, eight biological reserves. For a list of the national parks, click here. Again, you can click there for future reference. Have that on put in your binder. The climate there, combination of mountains, plains, Plateaus and influence of ocean currents and sea breezes gives Costa Rica a temperate tropical climate. On the destinations, two beautiful coastlines, the Pacific and the Caribbean. The oceans are warm enough year round to enjoy a host of water activities. You can even visit both the Pacific and Caribbean coasts on the same day. Pacific and Caribbean coasts are each characterized by dry and green seasons. The people there. So many Ticos have ancestry linked to Asia, Africa, the Caribbean, Spain, and other regions. There are eight indigenous groups in Costa Rica, making up 1.7% of the population. In addition to a mestizos, who boast a mixed Spanish and indigenous heritage, Spanish is the national language, could be a test question, and the country reports a high literacy rate of 96%, and since 1896 has made education free and obligatory for all of its citizens. Tico's place, great um, importance on family and friends, and at the center of their gatherings is food, which in Costa Rica is fresh, local, organic, authentic, and often includes produce, beans, avocados, plantains, pumpkin, and seafood. <clears throat> they have festivals, celebrations of all sorts abound throughout the country. Most have roots in Christian Catholic traditions, yet evolving to convey a distinct Costa Rican flair. Lively music, dance, costumes, and colorful art are all a part of the fun. Visit our list of notable events by going to resources in the top right-hand corner. Again, guys, you're going to have lots of resources there. We'll go through that later when we get done. Currency and connectivity. Uh, U.S. dollars, widely accepted. But at the airport or banks, you can exchange them for Costa Rica colonas. Uh, major credit cards, also widely accepted. And ATMs can be found throughout the country. Internet is available in most parts of the country. And then how do you get around? Oh, I missed some, sorry. Getting around in Costa Rica, clients have a range of choices to safely move around depending on their sightseeing goals. Rental cars, taxis, private shuttle, share shuttles, boats and cruises, and public bus. The airports, you have international airport, San Jose International, Juan Santa Maria, located in Alawara, sorry, and Liberia, International Airport, uh, Daniel Odeber, main entry for Papagayo, El Coco, Flamingo, Conchal, and Tamarindo, with Nicoya and Samara in the southern region in Guanacosta. Again, I apologize for miscommunication, mispronunciation, I can't even talk. <clears throat> Key domestic airports, Toblas, Botanos, Pavas, Tortagora, Limon, Tamarindo, Guapos, Drake Bay, Puerta Jimenez, and then U.S. inbound airlines, Delta, Southwest Spirit, United, Alaska, American Jet, Blue, and Frontier all travel there, and regularly operated domestic airlines, Aravel, Sansa, Skyway, and Air Cariba, Carib Cariba, 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 Cariba. <laughs> all right, entry. <laughs> Sorry. All right, to enter Costa Rica, U.S. nationals need only to present a valid passport with a return ticket 
to exit the country within 90 days. No visas required. Click here for more information. Again, something, you know, a lot of people like to know. All right, again, a pop quiz. Let's go. So true or false, Costa Rica, thank you, is Central American country situated between Pacific and Caribbean, both of which can be visited by car on the same day within the borders. That is true. True or false, Costa Rica's water is warm year round, so your water sports enthusiasts can visit the country almost any time of the year. And we went in January and we went water rafting and a beautiful, beautiful time there. Okay, so true, true. Submit, that is correct, okay, very good. All right, so we've completed the basics. Now we're gonna talk about areas to visit. Where are we gonna refer our clients to, okay? What do they wanna see? So the map has an overview of top attractions by region for a complete listing. Go to chapter resources again, okay? All right, so we'll start up here, Northern Plains home to one of Costa Rica's most visited sites, the Arenal Volcano. This region hosts a wider range of terrains, outdoor attractions, bird refuge, to hot springs, to zip lining adventures designed to provide all levels of exhilaration together with indigenous cultural attractions. Arsenal, Arsenal Volcano, Volcano National Park comprises both dense and green vegetation and sand. Hikers and horseback riders are drawn to the trails affording stunning views of the volcano, famous for its almost perfect conical uh, shape, while kayakers and paddleboarders can explore Arenal Lake. Zip lighting for young adventurers and more experienced thrill seekers is also on tap. The nearby town of La Fortuna offers a series of hot springs rich in minerals, making for a perfect way to wind down after an active day, or cool off in the pools under La Fortuna, Waterfall. Bird watchers will find countless migratory birds at Cano Negro Wildlife Refuge, while visitors can learn about Matiku culture and history at the Maliku Mal Indigenous Reserve. So again, you can maybe take a, a copy of that of what they can visit in the northern plains. We'll go to the Caribbean um, region. So you have verdant playland for vast array of wildlife unfolds in Costa Rica's Caribbean region and its eastern coast. The vibe here is relaxed. Travelers can easily lose themselves among many delights, whether spotting scarlet macaws, jaguars in the forest preserves, snorkeling along the coral communities, or experiencing a blend of Afro-Caribbean, Hispanic, and Bri Bri cultures. The region is typically divided into the Southern and Northern regions. So click on each. So the Northern Caribbean, famous for its beautiful festive seaside town of Tortugoro and its national park, comprised of pristine jungle, interfaced with rivers and streams, accessible only by boat or plane. Small communities that border the park retain their tradition and use bicycles as their only transportation on land. Puerta Limon is the access point to the waterways leading into the Tortogoro National Park. This town is characterized by unique um, architecture and ongoing celebration of Afro -Ca -Ca Costa Rican culture, complete with reggae and calypso music. And then the Southern Caribbean, um, Costa's <clears throat> Costa Rica's so southern eastern side comprises a peninsula resplendent with tropical rainforest, high biodiversity. Green sea turtles, green macaws, black river turtles, caimans, snake birds, sloths, and monkeys make their way, um, make their home in this wet tropical forest. The main town, Porta Viejo, um, emanates a pristine charm with its celebration of Afro-Caribbean music, cuisine, traditions, and its gorgeous beaches are popular with surfers. Beach lovers should have head to picturesque Punta Uva outside of Puerto Viejo, which ranks among Costa Rica's 10 best beaches by voters um, travel while snorkelers and divers will delight in the marine life found along the country's largest stretch of coral communities, which is the Cahuta National Park. All right, so we'll go back here. We'll do Guancasta and Nicola Peninsula. 
golden beaches, wellness centers, tropical forests, desert flora and fauna, volcanoes, mountain ranges, Costa Rican, Sabanero, which is a cowboy culture, all come together in Guanacaste, a province located in the northwest of the country. The region encompasses the Nicoria Peninsula, which is home to the unusually high number of centenarians, making it a blue zone. <clears throat> Accommodations range from luxurious beach resorts in Tamarindo to eco hotels on cattle ranches <laughs> where guests can experience the local culture. Performances may include traditional typical dance and music played on the marimba, an instrument that has been declared the national music instrument of Costa Rica. What is the instrument? It is a um, marimba, right? All right, the province offers 400 miles of coastline, includes a wide range array of volcanic sand beaches. The Gulf of Nicoya contains spectacular dive and snorkeling sites. Among them is Playa Hermosa, which was recently named a World Surfing Reserve by the Save the Waves Coalition. Visitors to the low-lying tropical regions can marvel at the immense flowering crowns of the Guancasta tree, national symbol. Other ecosystems range from Llanos del Cortes waterfalls to the Hornillas and Miravales volcanoes. All right, uh, Punta Renas and Gulf Islands. Together with the Gulf Islands, Punta Ranas shimmers with 264 miles of Pacific coastline, compelling visitors to come play and stay, while its wide range array of hotels, cabins, all-inclusive resorts, Tambor, Santa Teresa, and Montezuma, beautiful areas to recommend. Send your snorkelers and divers to the Gulf of Nicoya, where they will find a host of shipwrecks, three located off the shores of Tortuga Island. This island is also a place to spot mont manta rays, dolphins, octopuses, and sharks from below the waves or on a glass bottom boat tour. Visitors can stand at the bridge over the Tarcolas River to see the most densely populated river for crocodiles in the country, with some as large as 10 feet long. At 5,000 feet above sea level, the Monteverde Cloud Forest Biological Reserve offers many zip lining tours including one of the longest zip lines in the country. Measuring almost half a mile, hanging suspension bridges extend through canyons and connect with nearly five miles of hiking trails, which afford views of endless array of flora and fauna with 26,000 acres of protected rainforest. You have Central Valley um, as the doorway of adventure. Um, <laughs> Central Valley. Um, I should have pictures of the, uh, we were rocking across a bridge and there was a whole bunch of uh, crocodiles there. That was pretty cool. As the doorway to adventure, the Central Valley provides early access to volcanoes, rainforests, rivers, and both the Pacific Ocean and Caribbean Sea. At the heart of the region, the capital city of San Jose, visitors can leisurely explore its streets and neighborhoods, enjoy the art gallery, shopping, fine dining, and nightlife. Central Market also offers an array of local foods, coffee, and produce. Walking tours are available for visitors eager to learn about the city's culture and hidden transactions. Attractions, sorry. Central Pacific, I'm almost done here, part of Punta Ranas province. This region of the Pacific Coast lures visitors to the Manuel Antonio National Park, which includes 12 islands that provide refuge for seabirds, tropical rainforests that shelter cap capuchin uh, monkeys and three-toed sloths. Extensive hiking trails connect mountain areas to the coast with many white sea sand beaches. To the north is Carrara National Park, a refuge of the endangered scarlet macaw, home to 124 species of reptiles, including crocodiles. And then the South Pacific. The most southerly region of the Punta Ranas province, the South Pacific region is a peninsula, tropical rainforest, high biodiversity. Its coastline, also known as Costa Belena, Belena is a Spanish word for whale, draws visitors with its pristine beauty. This region is home to Marino Belena National Park, where humpback whales come early each winter, December to April, that's the winter time, to mate and give birth. This is also one of the regions where travelers can visit the Escaras de Piedra or Diques 
spheres that are believed to have adorned a pre-Columbian chiefdom settlement. Fascinating remnant of the Takis culture. Settlement is now recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Another popular part of part of the region is Golfo Dulce Forest Reserve for its untouched beach, eco wilderness lodges. Many visitors flock to the uh, Corcovado um, National Park, named by National Geographic Magazine, is one of the most biodiverse areas on the planet. Tapers, jaguars, squirrels, monkeys, and scarlet macaws thrive here. All right, so again, make sure you clicked on every one of them to move forward. We've got another pop quiz. <clears throat> All right, quickly made notes on the great places to recommend to your clients, but fill them in on the left, okay? So, um, offered ba 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 central da 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 is where to watch. Okay, so top attraction in Northern Plains, home to Bird Refuge, blank. This is a volcano area, uh, and La Fortuna is nearby. Okay, so we got shipwrecks, hot springs, Scarlet Macaw, luxury resorts, um, humpback whales. All hot right, springs. hot springs is the first one, so move that up there. Uh, Punta Ranas, access point to Gulf of Nicoya with many blank for great diving and snorkeling. That be the shipwrecks. What do you think? That would be my guess. Okay, we'll try that. Uh, Guanacosta offers blank, golden beaches, volcanoes, desert flora fauna, cowboy culture, and blue zone. Luxury resort. I'd say luxury resorts. Yeah. Okay. Central Pacific, great for surfing. Kara National Park protects the endangered. Scarlet Macaw. Very good. And then last, where to watch the humpback whales everybody agree we try it take a picture i'm gonna go ahead and hit submit everybody good that is correct very good all right <clears throat> and now accommodations and then we have our final exam for chapter one all right, so no overcrowding. So you have Costa Rica's year-round destination offer a wide variety of hotels for all budgets. Many hotels have limited space availability, um, especially during, we have our new mop thing, Rick. Okay. Um, many hotels have limited space availability. Specialty during peak season encourage clients to plan in advance specialty during high season, December to March. It's easy to find the perfect fit for clients, whether it's a romantic cabin on a secluded beach or a luxury hotel within the city, or whether they are looking for adventure or relaxation from locally owned small hotels to world-renowned hotel brands to all-inclusive resorts. Costa Rica has a multitude of options for accommodations. Larger all-inclusive hotels, big international brands tend to be situated more in the Northwest Pacific region near Guanacosta with the option to fly into Liberia, where the development of the Caribbean side tends to be more orient, oriented toward smaller lodges that interact with nature. So no overcrowding. Uh, whatever is our, <clears throat> makes our tourist touristic model different from that of other destinations is that we focus on lower scale development as opposed to huge integrated resorts. Recharge, enjoy small boutique style hotels, lodges distributed all around the country. Consider those that hold a certificate of sustainable tourism. And then certificate of sustainable tourism. Uh, Costa Rica Tourism Board developed the Certificate of Sustainable Tourism CST program 1997 has a long time commitment to nature conservation. Goal has been to categorize Costa Rican companies according to sustainability and management of natural, cultural, social resources. Costa Rica Tourism Board offers an exclusive collection of hotels, car rentals, activities verified by sustainability certificate program. To find certified resorts, hotels, check the information links in the chapter resources at the top right. All right. <clears throat> We've now completed the accommodations. We are now ready for our final exam for part one, okay? So this is only going over what we just learned. Everybody ready? 
Costa Rica holds approximately what percent of the Earth's known biodiversity? Any guesses here? Five. Five. Let's try it. Five, five. We have three, one. Okay. Let's try five. A nickname that Costa Ricans call themselves, Ticos or Ticas. That is true. The pre-Columbian chieftain settlement with stone steers of the Dakis found in the South Pacific region is one of Costa Rica's four the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Yeah, okay, thank you. Where can you find a concentration of Afro-Costa, Costa Rican, or Afro-Caribbean culture? Puerta de Mon, San Jose, Liberia, Guanacaste. Hmm. Guanacaste? Guanacaste, this one? Guanacaste? Okay. Which one, this one? Pacific Coast? Yeah. Everybody agree? Try it. Okay. What sorts of tourist activities are available in Guadacasta? Can I say all the above? All the above. Yeah. All right. Playa Hermosa was recently named blank by the Save the Waves Coalition. World Surfing, World Surfing Reserve. Okay, what do you guys think? Everybody agree? Okay, try that. At 5,000 feet above sea level, the Monte Verde blank in the province of Punta Ranas is where your clients can zip line, hike, admire beautiful views as well as flora and fauna. The cloud oh, forest, course. that's what I thought, okay. Many blanks flock to Costa Rica to encounter such species as toucans and the endangered scarlet macaw, while others come to see animals like jaguars and the three-toed sloth. Bird watchers and sloth, right? Forest bass and earthing are two activities that will appeal to clients interested in, how do you say health and wellness? Yeah. Okay. One more, one more. Program was created to provide guidelines for hotel properties, restaurants, and service providers seeking to build a community enhancing business. Number two. Certification of sustainable tourism, right? All right, let's try it. Ding, ding, ding. Looks like we missed one. Do you want to see which one we missed? Anybody interested or just go on? No, thanks. Okay. I'll just do it real quick. Five true, UNESCO. This one was Porta Limon, not Guanacaste. That's the one we got wrong. Okay. All the other ones were correct. You guys did great. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to move on to submit and exit. So you're going to submit that because you want to make sure you get credit for that one. <laughs> and now we're moving on to chapter two, okay? Make sure everybody passes. Everybody pass? Yeah. Okay. If not, I think the answers will be in there, so don't worry. All right, Coast. Chapter two. Chapter two. Huh? How do we get to chapter two? What did you click on? I'm sorry. Um, you just, you closed out. It says close out chapter and then it'll take you back to our program. Or you can go back to dashboard and it'll show that you've completed this one. And, and now. Um, oh, I got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me do a refresh because it's saying that I have to. Things. All right, so chapter two, 
Because anybody says that it's sick, we're probably one of them. Okay, so let's do this one. So specialist program sampling Costa Rica <coughs> riches. Okay. Um, learn more about the philosophy behind Costa Rica's environment focused, focused tourism product, and then explore its specific travel niches. Topics in, covered include wellness, family travel, rural tourism, culture, food, and gastronomy, romance weddings, as well as information on accommodation and itineraries. Um, D, you can still go to chapter two and then catch up with the other, because as we're reading, you can be doing those other tests. Just saying. So you don't have to come back and do it later. You might as well do it with us, right? All right. So sampling Costa Rica's riches. All right. So Costa Rica's gift to the world is its preservation of natural beauty and has long filled its every nook and cranny. And with such careful preservation comes a myriad of activities and interests that visitors can per per pursue from outdoor adventure to wellness to romance. In this chapter, you will learn how to steer your clients towards activities that satisfy their passion, activities designed for couples, groups, and friends and family. Again, wide variety of itineraries, suggestions is up here in the chapter resources. All right, so read all the sections before taking the exam. So we're gonna do outdoor adventures. Watch the quick video. So water activities, that's what we did. We did the river raft. It was amazing. Um, all right, so they have surfing. Costa Rica is a favorite international destination for surfing due to easy ocean access, variety of surf conditions throughout the year in Guadacosta, Puerto Ranas, and Limon. Both Pacific and Caribbean coastlines offer a wealth of surfing spots from the North Pacific but Potorara Grande to Provonas in the South Pacific. With the second largest left break breaking wave in the world to the caribbean's puerta viejo and the world-renowned salsa brava without forgetting Costa's playa hermosa recently named world surfing reserve in the world all right white water rafting and tubing and diving um uh, maximize button where's that at if you click on the maximize button on the top right to the x there we go. Thank you. I knew there was a place for that. <clears throat> Whitewater rafting, tubing, and diving. Um, navigating an inflatable raft with a guide and team provides adrenaline kick to explorations of the country's fast-moving rivers, such as Revitazon, Sarapagit, Pagora, and Korabichi. Sorry. But there's also tubing, which provides a leisurely way to be on the water experiencing nature. Professional diving tour companies offer services, equipment, and accessories to discover life below the waves. Uh, while open water diving courses are also available for all skill levels in accordance with PADI, Professional Association of Diving um, Instructors, and NAWI, National Association of Underwater Instructors. On the Pacific Coast, the shipwrecks in the Gulf of Nicoya make for excellent um dive sites while Guanacaste's Gulf of Papagayo, Cano Island, Marcielago's Island, and Las Catalina, Catalina's Island are developing into memorable diving areas. On the Caribbean coast, Cajuta and Puerto Vargas have impressive coral formations. Gandoca, Manzanillo, wildlife refuge is considered by many to be one of the best spots for snorkeling and diving on the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica. Uh, you have um, stand-up paddle boarding and kayaking. Slower options to discover Costa Rica's waterways. Practice at many Pacific beaches. Stand-up paddle boarding at Samara and Carrillo also make it possible to catch a wave or two. Kayaking services are offered in such areas as Manuel Antonio, Punta Uva, 
Puerta Viejo, Viejo Canver Beach, Jaco, Cano Island, Tortugora, and Lake um, Arena, Arena. And then wind and kite surfing. <clears throat> East-West trade winds blow strongest and steadiest from December through May, making Costa Rica's Pacific Coast and Lake Arsen Ar Arenal ideal for places for wind surfing and kite surfing. All right, pop quiz. All right, your clients would like to try a variety of water sports, match the activities, some of the places they should visit. So Potrero Grande, um, the Limon province, is that for kayaking, diving, or surfing? And then you have Tortuga National Park waterways, Lake Arenal, and then the Pacific Coast, Caribbean Coast for coral formations. Hmm. I'd maybe think this for that, maybe. What do you guys think? Second one is probably kayaking. I agree. This one? Yes. And should we do surfing here? Yes. What do you guys think? Yes. You want to try it? That is surfing. correct. Very good. All right. Bum, bum, bum. And land activities. So you have horseback riding, hiking, hand gliding. So we'll do horseback riding first. Since the day of the Spanish conquest, Costa Rican history has been indelible linked to the life of cowboy and sabanero, as we Ticos call them. Costa Ricans are proud of this activity, love to attend impressive horse parades or topes, <clears throat> which are found all over the country. From the strong and sturdy working Criolla, Criollo and the elegant Costa Rican Paso Fino, there is a horse for every riding preference. Whether you choose to ride through mountain trails near Carrara National Park on the slopes of Arenal Volcano or along the coastline, avoiding the beach area, the varied terrain, diversity of landscapes and wildlife habitats make Costa Rica a premier destination for the wildlife nature enthusiast rider. You have hiking, hanging bridges, and zip lines. There are several ways to experience Costa Rica's tree canopy. With different areas suited to both beginners and experienced trekkers, there's a hiking adventure for everyone through towns, beaches, dense forests, or national parks all over the country. Hanging bridges conveniently link popular hiking trails, providing visitors with safe and easy access to memorable views and breathtaking vistas. Zip lines can be found throughout Costa Rica, some whisking through cloud forests or along rivers and coastlines. Climbing, cycling, and four-wheeling, mastering the country's higher altitudes with numerous tours, climbing and repelling Costa Rica's mountain ranges like Churipo National Park, which is 12,500 feet above sea level, home to the second highest peak in Central America, for cyclists, Costa Rica has an estimated 80 bike paths that weave through the countryside, some which challenging terrains paired with fascinating archaeological sites. La Ruta de los Con 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 Conquistadores and the Vuelta Celestica of Costa Rica are two annual cycling competitions <clears throat> that draw elite athletes and passionate fans. Costa Rica's terrain also ideal for four-wheeling in the rainforest areas like La Fortuna, Arenal, and Monteverde. And then fishing and golf, five Grand Slam sport fishing events per year on the Pacific Coast, two at Marina Pez Vela in Cuatos, and three at Marina Los Suenos at Playa Paravadura. From the capital city of San Jose, the sites for ocean views in Guancasta, there are several championship golf courses to enjoy in Costa Rica. And then bird watching. <clears throat> sorry, I got a message here. Uh, bird watching. Hold on, sorry. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, on training. <laughs> All right, uh, with more than 900 species of birds, Costa Rica can easily boast about its varied avian population and densely biodiverse area. With numerous tours available throughout the destination, many parks and refuge, um, anyone can be converted into a bird enthusiast. 
Some of the prime places to birdwatch include Monteverde, Palo, Palo Verde, Santa Rosa, San um, Gerardo, um, De Dota, uh, Cajuta, uh, Cana Negro National Wildlife Refuge, Los uh, Quetzales National Park, Carrera National Park, Covada National Park, among others. Many of these parks and refuge offer accessible services like Carrara National Park, Cajuta, Santa Elena Biological Reserve, and many more. All right, pop quiz. True or false, some of Costa Rica's golf courses feature ocean views. True, correct. True. And Costa Rica has over 900 species of birds. That is true. true. Very good. Pretty easy, right? All right, we completed that. Accessibility. So Costa Rica's adventures for all ages, needs, and physical conditions, including ones with accessible adapted services. Please check the company status, specialty, and certifications to make sure you are booking with the correct expert. Costa Rica's tourist information centers provide information, care, and assistance services to domestic and foreign tourists. Qualified personnel are here to help with detailed knowledge about Costa Rica's tourist offerings. They also provide useful materials such as map brochures, safety tips for exploring Costa Rica. For links, again, go to chapter resources. Outdoor activities. Okay, so we've completed that. Now we're going to do family <laughs> travel. <clears throat> Marnie, do you want me to read? Huh? Do you want me to read for a sure, little bit? Sure, you can read. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Family travel. Costa Rica is an excellent destination for multi-generational families with a wide variety of activities for all ages, like hiking and exploring nature reserves, fishing for trout or tilapia, and visiting San Jose for its children's museums. Costa Rica's small territory has a great advantage because families can discover different regions and activities within short distances of each other. Land tours. Land tours. More family activities include land tours like cycling, four-wheel drive vehicles, and horseback rides to explore the different landscapes, or zip lining, or travel, traversing hanging bridges to experience the forest canopy. Children of all ages, ages can enjoy a visit to the forest where they may see animals, plants, and birds, and be educated about conserv conservancy and nature. Stroller-friendly and wheelchair-accessible tra trails help make thrilling forest adventures possible for everyone. Sorry, I'm half asleep today. <laughs> no worries. Although the coasts watching turtles emerge from the sea to deposit their eggs in the sand is an inspiring moment. With several species, species native to Costa Rica, leatherbacks, Hawks, bills, lo loggerheads, olive ridleys, green sea turtles, and black sea turtles. Turtle nesting takes place throughout the year, and tours can be scheduled to pick up guests from their hotels. All right. Well, there are many water based adventures to consider as well, like rafting, the Pecure Seraquai, or Karabaki rivers, or heading to the Caribbean or Pacific coast to surf jet ski, ride banana boats, or simply swim and play in the waves or on the sand of pristine beaches. Additional marine fun for families include whale watching, snorkeling, kayaking, boating, and diving. Opportunities to access the sea are available year round due to the country's warm coastal waters. All right, perfect, thank you. All right, we've completed family travel. Now we're gonna do wellness. Again, let me know when you're done, when, you're, when you wanna stop, because I don't want you to do it. Going. Hey, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> La Pura Vida. A Spanish phrase that literally means the pure life is La Pura Vida describes a Costa Rican lifestyle and mindset that goes with the flow, embracing both the ups and downs of life while enjoying time spent with family and friends and communing with nature. 
Clean eating and avoiding stress contribute greatly to La Pura Vida, as does taking time to get to know the world around you. In Costa Rica, your clients will find all of this easy to do. Um, Guan Costa's Nicoya Peninsula is one of the world's five blue zones, which means its locals live longer than the global average. Easily a testament to La Pura Vida. Fortunately, there's there are many ways your clients can benefit from the wisdom of the Ticos to enhance their own lives. Wow. Hey. That's cool. Wellness. Wellness tourism. Costa Rica is the ideal place to improve well-being, especially mental and physical health. Here you can reduce stress and recharge with a combination of nutritious food and a wide range of physical activities to renew mind, body, and soul. Nature-based wellness activities abound. Consider, for example, low-impact trekking, forest bathing, breathing in the fresh air of the forest, earthing, barefoot walks on the earth, sand, or excursion packages, combining water sports like diving or surfing paired with yoga. Both coasts offer yoga resorts and retreats with individual and teacher training yoga and packages, yoga packages. Local wellness and spa treatments offer relaxation through the use of signature therapies made with locally sourced volcan volcanic mud, coffee, tropical fruits, and cocoa. All right. Very cool. <laughs> detox retreats. Throughout Costa Rica, you will find centers that guide clients through detoxification processes to rid the body of impurities while reducing both mental and physical stress. Typically, these centers are resorts set in the rainforest or on the beach, and they use a combination of soothing sights, sounds, and scents, along with medication. Yoga, massage, detox, herbal teas, and juices together with fasting or enjoying meals made from fresh, organic ingredients. Look for retreats led by registered health specialists. Right, and it looks like Zandria has done two retreats and oh. two retreats. So she's just oh, that is who so has maybe, done that? Maybe, oh, that's maybe we have to have her do a fam trip for us. <laughs> yeah. Hot springs, natural hot springs offer rejuvenation, renewal, and improved skin conditions with many sources of thermal waters. The La Fortu Fortuna area features 14 springs, many of which are currently being studied for their health benefits. Some of the known benefits from hot springs include redu reduction of stress, mental fatigue, and anxiety. Costa Rica is blessed with over 200 hot springs throughout the country, and in addition to La Fortuna, visitors have discovered areas like Rincon de la Vella, Vieja and Nozora for their commitment to wellness. Yeah, I think I need to live in Costa Rica. Is what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's, it's hard to read, guys. So again, I appreciate you, Linda, for volunteering. <laughs> All right. So where is Costa Rica's blue zone located? Um, Limon, Arenal, or Central Valley? Um, I think it's Nico Nicoya. I think it's the first That's one. That's what the Emmy is saying. Okay. And what are some of the wellness activities your clients can find in Costa Rica? Earthing. Oh, all of them. Yep. Yep. All of them. So the peninsula and <clears throat> all of them. Let's check it out. That is correct. Congratulations, guys. All right. You want to keep reading or you need to take over? <clears throat> um, I can keep going. Okay. Culture and gastronomy. All right. Let's watch the video. Culture. As the country of La Pura Vida, Costa Rica is multicultural, multi-ethnic, and multilingual. Descended from the multicultural fusion of immigrants, including Africans, Chinese, Lebanese, and Europeans, and the indigenous people of the Ribri, Sebakar, Maluku, Maluku, 
Tareeb Baruka, oh, wow, <laughs> Gop, Nagami, Huatar, and Turatuga. Costa Ricans or Ticos and Tacos are gen generous, kind, and simple, always willing to lend a helping hand to tourists, a welcoming attitude that helps make a trip to Costa Rica a unique experience. From the stone spheres of Southern Costa Rica, De Course Spheres, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, to the Guayabo National Arche Archaeological Monument, Costa Rica offers many historic and cultural experiences, including museums, private ecological re reserves, and farms and local markets that encourage visitors to discover history, tradition, and cuisine. Cultural tours. Outside the capital, tours are available for learning more about Costa Rica's history, hand handicrafts, and locally grown products. There is a lot to explore. Indigenous tours in Yorkin, Corasai, Cor and Puriscal, the Boros, Boroca Indigenous Community Museum, and the Taruba Indigenous Community Museum. El Guaraco for its sculpture park, Santa Ana for ceramic. Los Santos for gastronomy adventures, including coffee farms, Teroloba for cheese and sugarcane, or Atina for fresh fruit and local cuisine. All right. Historic highlights. Historic highlights include museums in Ujaras and Orosi and churches in Ciudad, Poland, Moravia, Coronado, and the Basilica of Our Lady of An Angels in Cortaga. San Jose is where visitors will find the National Theater and Jade Museum, described in chapter one. Cultural attractions. Costa Rica also has world-renowned cultural attractions, including the Dequis Spheres adorning a pre-Columbian chieftain settlement, part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the Guayabo National Archaeological Monument, where settlers first arrived around 1000 BCE and created a bustling city by 800 CE. The ox cart, a national symbol, that's cool. An important cultural symbol in Costa Rica is the ox cart, which not only was once a vital means of transporting goods like coffee and fruits, but also came to be an Artistic medium in its own right, ox carts were beautifully painted with colorful, elaborate designs and sometimes even had chimes installed to play a song as the wheels moved. Sarchi is a perfect place to admire this art as well as purchase traditional souvenirs. All right, last one. Popular traditions, other nationally prized offerings and cultural traditions to be discovered by visitors include Creole swing dance, layman, Calypso music and intelligible cultural legacy of our country, traditional Churatega ceramics, the Baruca Little Devils Festival, and many more. All right. Rural tourism and community based rural tourism are part of social tourism and they provide an authentic experience for visitors to interact with locals to discover the Pura Vida lifestyle in return, both parties benefit. On one side, the tourist learns from the community and on the other side, the community receives an economic boost. They both experience cultural exchange and growth. A family environment for visitors offers personalized attention and allows guests to learn about rural culture, farming traditions, small art, art, artisanal industries and traditional cuisine. The sustainable practices promoted by rural tourism and community-based rural tourism offer unique access to visitors who want to get to know more about Costa Rican culture and lifestyles. Information on sustainable tourism can be found in the chapter resources of chapter one. Yay. Food right. and gastronomy. <clears throat> A key ingredient of healthy living is food, which serves as the center of Costa Rican social life from family gatherings to public festivals. Ticos value fresh ingredients from local farms and each region brings distinct flavors to enhance its cuisine. There are numerous dishes that are served throughout the country, 
such as gallo pinto, white rice, black and red beans, peppers, onions, and spices, and a lot of cilantro. Oh, yum. <laughs> Soap negro soup made with black beans, onions, bell peppers, hot peppers, cilantro, and garlic. Oh my gosh, I would do good there. <laughs> tortilla alanita, tortilla with cheese added during preparations goes nicely with breakfast or afternoon coffee. Picadillo, picadillo de papa, a savory combination of potatoes, chopped bell peppers, onions, and ground or shredded meat. Casado, the name means married man, a meal incorporating rice, black beans, plantain, salad, or tortilla, and a protein like chicken, beef, pork, or fish. From coffee in the Central Valley to empanadas in the South Pacific to the famous Churchill snow pine of Panteras, Pantaneras, each region of Costa Rica has its special food. Consult chapter resources. Click on upper right corner for a downloadable list. Uh oh. Okay. Pop right. quiz. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. And again, I appreciate you. And again, guys, it does, it is hard to kind of read these and stuff. So again, appreciate the, the help. And look at that. Shanika's already got our pop quiz ready to go. So okay. <clears throat> match each of the attractions to the description that best fits it. So national symbol, intangible cultural legacy, tradition of indigenous Baroque people and basilica located in Cart Cartago. All right, so- Oxcar. Oh. Oxcar, Oxcar is the first symbol. one. Okay. Cultural Anything legacy is- Ramon Calypso music. Tradition of the indigenous- For the tradition maybe? Tradition of the indigenous Little Devils Festival. Um, intangible cultural legacy. legacy. The cultural legacy is, well, I don't know. it's got to be, it's got to be Little Devil's Festival I think so, because okay. the other two, oh, the last one is. I think the intangible legacy. cultural legacy is the music. Oh, that's the tradition, or is it the tradition? The indigenous yeah, people. The it's the music. The last it's one is, is Our Lady of Angels. Lady of Angels, yeah. Okay, should we try that? Um, Tradition is the festival. And the Calypso yeah. is the latest cultural legacy. legacy. Let's try yeah, the it. Legacy. That's oh, correct. Good. It's right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you guys got that? Yep, that was good. Yay. All right, you want me to take over? Yeah, maybe for a bit. My okay, voice. looks like we only have one left and then our exam. So, oh, okay. yay. Okay. Again, okay. thank you guys. All right, if somebody could give uh, Letitia the answers on the last one, um, that would be great. All right, so romance and weddings. Many couples dream of walking hand in hand, feeling the soft sand between their toes or the touch of the rainforest. Uh, setting the tone for romance. Numerous colorful beaches, lush rainforests, Costa Rica can be the perfect honeymoon or wedding destination where passion and romance are waiting to be discovered in every sunset. Costa Rica was recognized as one of the best wedding locations by Destination Weddings and Honeymoons in 2016. Numerous companies offer complete packages to host the perfect wedding in Costa Rica and honeymooners as well will find incentives to celebrate their new journey together in our country's beautiful surroundings. Explore the underwater world in an amazing diving or snorkeling experience. <clears throat> Go sailing around the coast, play in the waves of the pristine beach, go fishing or kayaking and play some golf or visit nature reserves for the abundant greenery and wildlife. Two international airports, Juan Santa Maria Airport in San Jose and Daniel Odeberg Corus Airport in Liberia, making it easy for a couple to minimize travel and maximize honeymoon time. Many Costa Rican accommodations from all-inclusive beach resorts to boutique mountain hotels offer honeymoon and wedding packages to suit a wide variety of tastes and budgets. All right, wow, that one was a quick one. All right, so again, did you guys get the last one? You've got um, the the music is the legacy, I think, was it? Um, uh, so if somebody can oh, help. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm doing it now for him. I just oh, accidentally. Thank you. All right. Oh, okay. oh, somebody got it. They, they got, got it. it. Okay, okay, perfect. 
All right, let's do the last quiz. Bum, bum, bum. Costa Rica was recognized as one of the best wedding locations by Destination Wedding and Honeymooners in 2016. True. No, yes. True. Oops. Oops. Didn't Oops. get that one. Shoot. Oh, well. Okay. Correct. Okay. Oh, you've completed? Okay. So final exam. So that was a quick one, right? All right. Final exam. Again, Shanika has already finished this. What makes Costa Rica a good choice? For weddings and honeymoons? Uh, all of the above. All the above, yeah. Costa Rica is a world-renowned surfing destination. Excellent conditions on both the Pacific and Caribbean coasts. True. true. That is true. Cyclists find 80 bike paths weaving through beautiful landscapes in Costa Rica. Enthusiasts gather annually for several elite competitions, including La Ruta de los... Uh, conquistador, yeah. Conquistadors. Okay, local wellness, spa treatment tend to use volcanic mud, coffee, tropical fruits, and cacao, cacao, cacao that have been locally, locally sourced. Locally sourced, very good. Costa Rica makes for great family vacation because short drive, wide range of activities, tourist information, all um, of the above, right? All of the above. All right, next, rural tourism offering in Costa Rica. Let's guess, learn about local culture, tradition, farming, and small artisan industries. Yeah. It's true. True. All right, Letitia, number two is true. All right, tourists, tour, tours and museum are available for visitors interested in learning about Costa Rica's indigenous cultures. That's it's true. True. And Galo Pinto, Sopa Negro, Picadeo, De Papa, Castado can all be described as number one dishes, dishes. right? Dishes. Who's hungry? Whoop, whoop. hundred percent. Congratulations, guys. Wow. Now you guys should get your certificate. So let's hope it's all in here and complete. So let's make sure learning path. So required 101, 101. Okay, so let's go to dashboard, completed. Let's check our completed courses. Bum, bum, bum. Certifications. So Costa Rica right here. So you go to your <laughs> dashboard certifications. You'll see the... Um, Costa Rica, okay, sampling of the riches. So right here, you get your certificate. Make sure How you do the certificate. Huh? How we get it, the certificate? You have to finish the two two courses that we I did have. finish. I did okay. finish. And then you go to dashboard. So if you go back at the top where we took the test, it says go to dashboard. Mm -hmm. Go right here, my dashboard. And then you go to certifications. So right here, certifications. You should probably have also gotten an email. They usually send it out on email also. All right, so right here, you go to certifications. You go down to Costa Rica and view your certificate. Well, okay, Leticia, the answers are all above. So let us know what help, what you need for the answers. All right. Did everybody get their certificate? No. Okay. What did you need help with? I am. Um, I can't figure out how to pull it up. Certifications. Okay. Just go here to. Okay. I find it. Okay. Thank perfect. you. Yep. I found it. You just go to my dashboard, print your certificate, <laughs> post it on social media. Now, also remember on Costa Rica, when we go in there, um, make sure you guys go up here to, like they told us, to the um, to the uh, resources, okay? So right up here, bum, bum, bum. here we go, chapter resources. So right here is where you can find like top attractions, um, informational links, okay? 
So again, you want more information on the basics, you want information on the hotels, um, or go back over here, back up here to the resources. Do, 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 do. Get back to it. Um, new chapter. And then, oh, already opened in another screen. Okay. Let me get over here. Ba, ba, ba. Where is it? Sorry. Come on. Okay, back to the dashboard. Here we go. Make it up here and get up here and over here. Okay, so here's the resources. Um, get back to it. Get out of here and then I'll open it back up here. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, um. But again, you can save the different um, completed view chapter. Okay, so let's go back. My first Eureka, right here. So view chapter, and then the resources again. So areas and attractions to visit, again, um, lots of resources for you. You can print these flyers out, um, share them with your certificates, okay? Top attractions at the different areas that they go. All right, so take advantage of all these resources, okay? Yes, thank you guys, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna be doing Dominican Republic on Friday. So again, it's listed right here. It's under the... Um, uh, TV Excuse me, Mark. Uh -huh. How do you get to this particular page you're on now? How do you get there? Um, this is in our um, my group page, Certificate Workshops and Marketing Ideas. So uh, let me give and you... And then you click link. on what? Well, let me get to whoever's in here. There's the link for it. Once you sign up for it, you can click on Featured. And then featured. featured will show you like a popular thing like here. It'll show you our our, our schedule for the month. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sandy posts these at the beginning of each month. So as you see, the link is right here. It has the date so you can pre-register. So we're still doing um, Dominican Republic, Ontario, Croatia, and Viking. Okay. And then you move down here further. And you'll find the certificate um, group over here that I printed that has, again, all the resources, all the trainings we've done. So I have them here on my YouTube channel, but, you know, and some of them we, we've done like canard. We've done, you know, every week. So they're kind of like out of order. But if you go down here to cruises and canard, they're all in order. So you can go and catch up. Marriott, we did Marriott. We did it in 2022. We've done it in 2023 now. Canard, we just finished that. So again, here's my YouTube. And then here is the training for it. Okay. So oh, that's what I was, that's what I was going to ask. I must not know how, how to, so I follow your page, uh -huh. but I guess I must not know how to do that. So I wanted to go and like pre-register for things, but okay. I'm not understanding how to do it, I guess. Okay. So, so again, you go here and you'll see this page here. So again, you guys, uh, Friday. So I post it the day before usually, and I'm like, okay, guys, if you want to learn about Dominican Republic. Okay. So that's right here. So you're going to okay. click this link. It's going to pull up here. This is where you'll go in and sign in or sign up, depending on if you signed in or not. Once, okay. you, once you sign up, again, you're going to put the information. Archer Travel is the agency, um, agency name, Archer Travel. Okay, how did you hear about us? You, you know, do whatever other recommended by travel agent. 
once you register, then you sign in and then you, um, now this one's a little tricky one. So you wanna probably do it today if you can, because it always takes forever to get signed in. So there I am now. So again, just like the other one, um, you can use the actual link or just type in here, Dominican, Dominican Republic. There it is. You click here and now you're ready to go. Okay. You want to make sure your name is up here. You're in and you're ready to go. Okay. And then we're going to do this on Friday. And then again, start the course. You're going to get your, your certificates. Okay. So, um, my itinerary, it's cool because you can save the training. So we've done Egypt, Argentina, Washington, Singapore, Australia, and so many others, okay? So, um, um, and again, you guys can do these all on your own if you want, um, but they're kind of fun when we do them together because again, um, we help each other with the tests, okay? And then we make sure that everybody passes. And then, like I said, and then you go into your social media and you put you know, hey, look at me, look what I did. You know, I, I just posted about a busy weekend, okay? And I posted because I completed my canard training. We got another free cruise. So again, guys, you know, post, let people know you're a travel agent. Let them know that, you know, you're, you're you know, you travel, you can help them travel. Um, you can bring them in as business partners, okay? So uh, where's my thing here? I'm going to Montana this weekend, so I won't be able to do that. Okay, well, nice. So again, I do record them. Um, right here is a free video off Archer Travel that you guys can share, okay? So always go into the Travel Cafe and, and get all the information, free marketing material, guys, okay? Um, nice. So just wanted to kind of show you right here. Busy weekend, excited about my amazing perks, going to get completion of my certificates, love learning about the destination. So I did Dominica, uh, Anchorage, and then the certificate for Canard. Now we've got a free cruise, okay? So again, get in here, post, let people know you're an agent, and you, know, you can book these amazing vacations for them, okay? Just wanted to okay. share that. Real quick, I want to share one other thing about the resort that I got. Remember, I told you I went to Costa Rica for, um, how do I do a search, for um, $138, guys, okay? Wow. On Profit Agility, it's posted a lot. As you see, I also post in here about the certificates, okay? Here's the resort. Again, it's not the most beautiful, but for $138 yeah. total, total, not per person, not per night. You got the living room, you got wow. the dining room, you got the kitchen, you got the, the loft, you got one bedroom here, which was Charles. You got another bedroom here with just Gail and Bills. You got a guest bathroom. You got the master. You got a patio. You got wow. a hammock and you got the pool for $138. Wow. So um, it's on profit agility. It, it comes up all the time, guys. So um, again, you know, it was a little far away from things, but like I said, for $138 yeah. hair, right? Um, so we went down to spirit, we got our penny fares for spirit and for less than, I think, $700, $800, we went for an entire week. Um, I wish we had a spirit here. We have, yeah, we don't have yeah, spirit, spirit is amazing guys. So let me just do here just to see if it pops up. Um, but I always check this once a week. I always check and see what the deals are. Um, so here, like here's a two bedroom in Costa Rica, regularly $1,800, guys. This is our price for the entire week, okay? Oh. You can't beat that. You divide that by six people, that's what, 50 bucks a, a person for an entire wow. week, okay? Um, you can also sell it and add $600 of commission. All right, so definitely go through your training for profit agility. Here's another one regularly, $1,600. We pay $700, and you can add up to $415 for um, commissions. But 
just wanted to share with you guys the amazing deals that we get as agents, okay? So take advantage of it. Let's have fun, okay? Let's share. Again, don't be a secret agent. Let people know. Um, let me show you some more. So Here's how did you get the penny fair fairs? Penny fairs is available for everybody. It's not travel agents. One of my agents is a travel agent for, I mean, is a, um, a, a flight attendant for, um, for spirit and she told me about it you just go down to the um uh the ticket office you have to go down there and what i usually do is i'll go in ahead of time and pick which flights i want and then i go down there and i say hey do you have a penny fair for i've been to panama i've been to um orlando i've been to miami on penny fairs i said you have a penny fair to las vegas to panama uh when do you want to go this date and this date on these flights I sure do. Um, it's a penny for the fare and 120 for taxes and fees. So I looked it up. It was say, let's say 250. I paid 121, you know, so um, that's what a penny fare is. Uh, again, but you um, have to go to the airport, you correct? You have to go to the airport to the ticket counter. Yep. But it's um, only through what's it called? Spirit. Spirit, Spirit yeah. Airlines. Yeah. And a lot of people don't like Spirit. I go with a backpack. Me and my boyfriend went on a 15-day cruise. We got the free cruise through Princess for doing the training. We only paid $220 for the entire cruise, okay? Um, tax, and then you, that was taxes and fees and then, of course, gratuities. But um, $220 is all we paid for a 15-day cruise to Hawaii. I brought a backpack because with Princess, you get automatically upgraded to Elite, so they do your laundry for free. So we took advantage of that. Um, so I don't pay, I rather pay my, use my money for excursions and stuff. So I don't pay the penny. I don't pay the uh, baggage fees. I know a lot of people don't like traveling like that, but it's worth it to me. So again, look at this $139 for a condo there. Um, so, you know, you can't beat it. All I say is make sure to get in here and check. Um, here's my daughter in Costa Rica. My kids are all travel agents. Um, Here's some of our um, animals we saw along the way, okay? That's the resort that we stayed at, $139. Um, that's the resort again. Um, wanted to show you, um, here we are doing the hot springs, okay? That was amazing. Um, river rafting again. I was gonna show you the penny fair. Let me show you. Marnie, do you Did have you... any pictures of the inside of the of the the hotel that you stayed in, or the? Um... Yeah, yeah, I just showed it to you. Yeah. Um, this one right here. Oh, okay, okay, thank yeah. you. Again, we're go we're going in November. Yeah, but you know, for one hundred thirty nine dollars, yeah, it's not the best, but it was great for us. And again, what do you do? You sleep there. You're there sightseeing. You know. Um, but you can't beat it. It's not per person. It's not per night. So definitely take advantage, guys. Use our perks. Again, Profit Agility is in the back office. So make sure you go in and register with Profit Agility, okay? When and you did your cruise, did you pay for Wi-Fi? Um, you get half price. You get, um, there's a bunch of um, perks that you get. So you get half price Wi-Fi. You get to go to the captain's lounge every night at five o'clock for $5 drinks so I didn't do the drink package I just went and got those cocktails and then you get to bring you know a bottle of wine for each person on the ship um so yeah the wi-fi I waited till we got there and then I paid um uh I did the half price for the wi-fi you get a full bar okay in your room you get ca canapes um once a night you get the tea or twice a night twice a during this thing in your room um you get tea service all the time so it's amazing like i said get in here if you haven't done your princess cruise let me just show you really quick um and we did that training too it's of course on um on my training we just finished that and we just finished canard so we got two free cruises so um my boyfriend now i can book one through canard i can book one through princess with him so you go to training, book my free cruise. Look at these cruises that you guys can get. 
we're trying to figure out, we want to go to Alaska. And I think we're going to do the Alaska cruise through Princess. And then we're going to add on the land tour, Rocky Mountaineer. We just did that training. OMG, um, amazing trains, okay? But look at these, Alaska, Asia, Canada, Caribbean. Now, what I did was I'm like, if I'm going to get a free cruise, I'm going to go for the longest time I can, right? So 9 to 15 and 16 days. Look how many cruises. So I have 74 choices here. So look here at all these cruises that I have a choice to do. Um, interior is usually free and then you pay for taxes and fees. So as you see here, but, um, and then 240. So a 10 day cruise through Canada is $240 per person. Um, 11 day, 10 day Canada. Um, this is Tokyo, Japan, nine days. $110 is all you're paying, okay? Is that um, the port fees and taxes? Yep, that's port fees, fees and taxes, yep. You don't pay anything for your room. On the uh, Google Docs, you have different colors. What do all the different colors mean? That's, uh, Sandy does that. Um, the ones in yellow are the ones we're doing this month. The other ones, this is kind of like, I think the, the main um, you know type of trainings down here. These may be ones that she's done or hasn't done, so I don't know. But like okay. here, this is just listing Disney. This is listing vendors. But the yellow ones are current trainings that um, we're doing this month. Okay. So again, look at this. 16 days in Hawaii, $243. Again, guys, you can upgrade. You can change it to a, a balcony, et cetera, but you're going to pay more. As I said, we take the interior. We take the cheapest because, you know, we want to use our money to enjoy other things, you know, because um, again, we're, we're not rich, we're broke, you know, but again, you know, here, 24 day Canada, New England, interior sold out, so you can do the balcony, um, Ireland, $200 for Ireland, 10 day, I gotta show my daughter this, because she wants to go, um, and again, you know, my, I did the training. I got a free cruise. My boyfriend did a training. He got a free cruise. And then you can take a third and fourth person for only a hundred dollars more plus the taxes and fees. All right. So I'm telling you guys do these trainings. Look at this 22 day Mediterranean, uh, Italy, Sicily, Greece. Um, you know, you can look at this a 32 day one. 32 days, okay, who wants to go? Hawaii, um, uh, Fiji, Samosa, Tahiti for only um, $245. Marnie? Take, take a month off and go, yes? After you do the trainings, how long do you have to take the cruise? Um, I don't know. I mean, some people took the training last year and still have it available. I always tell people take advantage and do it as soon as possible because you never know. I know this year they told people that you have to do an update on the training. So again, um, as you can see here for the um, the train or the the uh, the travel, they have cruises up to May of next year that you can book. Okay, um, so I always recommend booking it as soon as possible uh, when you get done. Um, when you when you go to book it, you do have to pay. Okay. But I'm telling you guys, it's um, amazing. All right, con congratulations. Again, guys, I've completed the two trainings for Princess and Canard. You get a free cruise on both. Canard's kind of picky, okay? I'm in the process. I just did it, but two of my courses didn't load. So I, I called customer service yesterday. They're trying to fix that. Um, but guys, let's look at Canard. I haven't even looked at his free cruise for Canard. Um, see if it's in here. No, we finished his training for Canard. Maybe I just finished it for mine. And no, I just did his. Yeah, because I'm trying to finish mine. Uh, let me make sure that it's in here. Yep, download your certificate and your free graduation cruise itinerary. So we just did this on Sunday. So again, we're going to start Royal Caribbean um, next month. OK, so I don't know what they give. You never know. So that's why I always say get in and do these, complete them. 
uh, so you can make sure that, you know, you take advantage of these perks. Because when you're out there, guys, you're like, look at this amazing ship that I'm on, guys. You know, um, you can do this too. I'm a travel agent. You want to be a travel agent? <clears throat> Let me show you how, you know, and now you bring in six people. Guess what? Your monthly is now covered and you get to travel now for free with all your friends and family. That's what we do with Disney, free Disney passes, guys. You just have to complete the training, okay? You're welcome, guys. And again, this is over. You guys can jump off if you want. I was just kind of showing you. But same with Disney. All my kids are agents now. Look here. We get free Disney passes every year for Disneyland and Disney World. So right here, Disney World, if I want to go, right here. I just go in and request it. You do need either the CLIA or the IATAN card, but and you have to get 10-day advance notice, okay? But it's definitely worth it. Like we just, I'm going on a cruise inspection. So I told you, for um, Jamaica, I have a dinner coming up Friday. And then on August 5th, a few of us agents are going on a cruise inspection for Carnival. If you miss that, guys, it's right here under perks, okay? Make sure you guys join this group because um, we post in here about the, the perks and Carnival just listed a bunch of um, cruise inspections. What that means is you get to go on that cruise ship um, and do a tour of it. And with Carnival, they give you a free uh, four course meal with it. So we signed up for that. We're going on, um, uh, August 5th, I think it is. Uh, let me see where it's at. Ba, ba, ba. But yeah, this, this program here, everybody posts all our different trainings and stuff. Um, I mean, all our different perks that we get as agents. So make sure you guys join this group also. Okay. And when you join the group, you have to make sure you answer the questions. Um, let me see if I, if I can pull it up inspection again what's the group what's the group name i'm sorry or some uh, this is uh, evolution perks i just put the the link in the chat so it's evolution perks look at this 2023 fam cruise tours open for bookings uh we did new orleans guys um new orleans is giving away uh um not giving away, but their fam trips where they give high discounted um, uh, uh, um, trainings for that. Hold on, let me look on my email here. Come on, come on. So just kind of wanted to share with you guys why I do these because it's like, I just got back from Cancun, got five free nights, two at the Live Aqua and three nights at the um, Pyramid Oasis, all right? So again, take advantage. So let me look here if I can find it on here. Um, Marnie, I'm on your Facebook page. How do I get to where the trainings are? I'm sorry. Um, I was trying okay. to follow. Um, so on my Facebook page, it's not on my Facebook page. It's on um, the certificate right here. Certificate workshop. This is where the trainings are. Okay, this is okay. the training so here, certificate okay. workshop, and then also um, the perks here. This is discounts and stuff, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. So again, just um, like I said- Marnie, uh -huh. um, so do you have to have, if, if you finish the training for Canard, you get a free cruise, but do you have to have sold any travel? Do you Not have to yet. Be to Not yet. That's why I'm saying take advantage of it because sometimes they do change it and say, okay, now, like with Disney, Disney is giving away a free cruise, but you have to now have sold um, three um, river cruises and then you get a free cruise. So if you look here at mm -hmm. Disney, so that's why I said, you know, if they start getting too many people doing this, then they may say, okay, right now you need to book so much to be able to qualify. That's mm -hmm. why I say take advantage, like right here, book three adventures and you get a free complimentary river cruise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, 
right now, no, there is no requirement, but you never know it could change. That's why mm -hmm. I just tell people to, to always try to book it, plan it, so you can make sure that you um, get access to it. Mm -hmm. Mar Marnie, can you please post a link to uh, certifications that you just were showing from your Facebook page? Um, this one here? No, 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 the Facebook thing where you are posting all the trainings. Okay, so that is right here, the certificate workshop. Per, uh, yes, that, that, that one. Okay, share, copy, there you go. So just go Thank in you so and answer much. the questions. And then again, look under featured. This is what I'm doing next. We're gonna be doing CLIA training because we're gonna get certified with that. That one costs, okay? That's why I put it as a, um, who'd be interested. So, but I'm going to be doing these on Saturdays, Fridays, I'll be doing Royal Caribbean and then some, um, Wednesdays, we're going to be doing another thing. So, but yeah, I post in here a lot, all the different trainings that are going on. We post about, you know, how to share and help others. Um, so definitely. Excuse me, Marty. Uh-huh. I am interested in that CLIA training and I went out and got my a card are you going to keep us in the loop how are you going to keep us in the loop of, as to when that training starts? we're going to be doing a flyer i just talked to christine because she does my flyers for me so mm -hmm. just like this flyer here we're going to be doing one specifically for clea because mm -hmm. we have certain classes we have to um assign that you get four free classes this year for next year um that are free the course is 69 dollars so um, you do have to pay the the sixty nine, but we're doing a um, we're doing a flyer for that, and we're gonna hopefully get that out by this weekend. Um, so that way you guys can go in, get registered, and then we can get started. Do you have a start date for that? Uh, probably, as I said, uh, we're gonna be doing it on Saturday, the fifth. I actually have the carnival inspection so um i think we're going to start it on the 12th okay so, thank you you're welcome again it's tentative but most likely that's when we're going to be doing it so again it's right here certification we're going to do the cc um certified cruise counselor to start um it's 69 dollars for um agents that are already in the system these are the courses we have to take, okay? So we have to complete all these. So we're gonna do them together. Um, attendance to the, the conference here, um, live virtual inspection. So again, I'm doing that now on the 5th. So I wanna get in and get registered. Bookings, you can go back, I think two years if you've gone on a cruise and register it. Um, as I said, on some of the cruise trainings that we've done, you earn points but you can't add them here yet until you're one of these, um, you know, you attend one of the, or um, obtain one of these uh, accreditations, okay? So this one's 69 as an agent, um, 99 is the ACC, which will upgrade to that next time. Um, I just figured a lot of people are brand new, so we're gonna start with the lowest one this time. And again, um, you know, all the requirements and stuff are right here. So it's under cruising.org. Also, any money you put out on this business, guys, you can use it as a tax write-off. So don't forget that, okay? Keep track of that. All right, so just wanted to kind of share some things with you guys. So again, congratulations, everybody. Um, I want to mm -hmm. see your certificates for Costa Rica and let's have some fun. Can I ask one question? Uh -huh. um, so all of your, all of the princess training is over and all of the canard training is over, right? Right. At, at, right. We just finished it. Cause as, as you can see, they're long. Okay. Um, right. Princess, we did it eight, eight weeks. Okay. okay. Um, so they're here. The training's here. Canard. Right. We did we'll watch it. Them. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we just did it. I usually try to do it like once a year for people. So, oh, um, okay. 
Yeah, but otherwise, here's the, the information here. Um, yeah, so Kristen said for seven days. So yeah, it's, it's a long one, um, okay. but it's worth it. Again, it's definitely worth it. And again, if you have a spouse or a mother or a child, have them do it too. And now you can take a family on vacation or something. That's yeah, Disney, I sat there. It took me six hours, one Disney. <laughs> hard and very hard. Again, it is. So uh, that's why it's always nice to do with them together because my questions are different than your questions. So we ended up staying on board. I actually wrote, where are my notes? Because I can't take the test. Um, I went in to do mine. And again, it's not loading. Um, I have the answers here somewhere because I wanted to get in and hurry up and take the test. Why I remember for myself, because I got Rick, his cruise now, but I want to get mine. So now we'll have three free cruises to take. So again, you know, take advantage because you're working, right? You're on this cruise ship, but you're working. People say, you know, I thought you don't have any money. No, I don't, but I'm working. I'm, this is my job, you know? So and I paid two hundred twenty dollars to go to Hawaii. Yeah, I didn't do any excursions because we were broke. But guess what? I got out. I'm on the beach. I'm in the water. I'm taking pictures. Guys, look at me. I'm in Hawaii. You can do this too. You know. And, yeah. and again, I I paid two hundred twenty dollars for it, and I got automatic upgrade. I'm sitting at dinner with people, and I'm an elite now because I did that training. Um, I've got people that are in the, on the cruise ship with me that, um, have paid $5,000 for that cruise and still not an elite, um, member. And here I am an elite, you know, of course you don't want to brag about that. You just say, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm a travel agent. You know, I get a lot of special perks and stuff, but you don't want to tell them you pay 220 because they're going to scream. They pay 5,000, right? So, again, you know, you share that you get amazing deals, but you don't give specifics, okay? Just wanted to share that. Right. All right, guys. So that's all I have for today. Again, congratulations, everybody. Um, hope to see you on Friday for Dominican Republic and then on Saturday for Ontario. Okay? okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Appreciate Bye. the help on everybody. Mm -hmm. All right.